Does Apple make a hearing aid now? Let's talk about it. I'm Kathleen Wallace, I'm an audiologist with Tuned, and Apple really made a splash last week with their release of AirPods Pro 2 and some of the new features built into it. And I'm quite excited that hearing health was a focal point. Let's start with the three features that Apple's most excited about with this release. The first one is a hearing test built right into the health app. With this, you can test your hearing directly through your AirPods and your iPhone. It takes about five minutes and it has been clinically validated through studies. Once you complete it, you'll get your hearing test results along with some resources. And depending on the level of results, it'll also recommend some additional features. So for folks that have mild to moderate hearing loss, it will recommend the hearing aid feature. These results will then sit in your health app securely and you have the option to share these results with healthcare providers. And this distinction of mild or moderate hearing loss is very important because these hearing aids are over-the-counter hearing aids and mild to moderate hearing loss is the intended category of use. This brings me to the next feature, the hearing aid feature. So if you have a mild to moderate hearing loss, it will recommend your hearing aid feature within the AirPods. The hearing aids will be functioning off of Apple's new H2 chip, and this will allow for clean processing of the sound, boosting just the frequencies that you need in a very specific way according to your thresholds, and you'll be able to fine tune and balance and really adjust the sound quality to your liking. Now, if you're an experienced Apple user or perhaps a savvy person with hearing loss, you might be aware that these features, some of them have been enabled for quite some time now. The biggest difference is that they are now streamlined. But before I elaborate on that, let me finish out with the third big feature that Apple's excited about. Apple has added what they call active hearing protection to their AirPods Pros too. This means that they'll be surveying the environment and determining when there is a dangerous noise level in the environment the amount of reduction that's needed to bring it down to a safe level. This is happening by sampling the environment 48,000 times per second. And this is a big deal because this is something that a lot of users have asked me about. Can you use your AirPods as hearing protection like at a concert? And now the answer is yes. So what does this all actually mean? Overall, this is a very exciting development. As I hinted at, these are not all new developments for Apple. Conversation boost, transparency mode, the ability to track your headphone behavior and make modifications. These are all features that have been in existence for quite some time, along with live listen. There have also been ways for you to take a hearing test and upload your audiogram results into the health app and be able to make some adjustments accordingly. But this is new where it's now streamlined, built into Apple, and there's going to be some software elements along with it, I'm sure that will shape the way the sound is actually processed. So we have a new integrated hearing test, we have a new chip, we have new features, and the hearing protection aspect is certainly new. All in all, this is very exciting from a hearing health perspective because we have perhaps the biggest company in the world talking about your hearing and making hearing accessible and front of mind for a lot of people. It's important to understand just how inaccessible hearing healthcare is for a lot of people and how big of a deal it is to have access to a hearing test right in your pocket. And if we can get AirPods to function well as hearing aids, that will be an absolute game changer. I also love the emphasis on hearing protection and making sure people understand the dangers of noise levels and that sometimes it can sneak up on us. There are a lot of environments that we don't think are super noisy, but they absolutely are. This will certainly help with awareness. Now, a couple of things that I'm curious we will get out of this. The first is the amount of data we will get from millions of people taking a hearing test. We're going to get population data that is going to be fascinating and on a much broader scale than we've been able to get in the past. That will lead to some amazing insights and innovations. The second thing I'm curious about is how much our society will shift from viewing AirPods as more of an internal experience. We are listening to music. We are zoning out from the world, removing ourselves from the world to actually a tool to engage with other people. What's that shift going to look like? And that's something I'm genuinely curious about. Apple has done this and moved the needle on a lot of things in the past. When the iPhone first came out, we all thought, why would I need a calculator and a computer in my pocket? When the AirPods came out, we all thought, these look like Q-tips sticking out of people's ears. And now we will see. Is this going to be the new norm, the new form factor for hearing aids? Which brings me to my last thing that I'm curious to see in the future. Will the form factor be a detriment to the actual technology? Meaning, will it keep people from using it for extended amounts of time because it's not comfortable or it's heavy in the ears, they don't like the feeling of it in their ears or potentially battery life issues? Again, jury's out on this one. And now let's shift on to my biggest point. 
It's important to understand that there's a difference between technology and service. Hearing loss is a complicated problem to solve. I am very excited again that Apple is in the game and they are trying to figure out the best way to treat a permanent change, permanent damage to the hearing organ, but it is difficult to solve. No matter how good a hearing aid is, it will never reverse hearing loss there will always be a little bit of a management element to it. So I hope people understand that there are services that can be beneficial in addition to the AirPod. One company in particular that I think is really taking this idea well is Tuned. Tuned is a holistic hearing health benefit for employers. We're normalizing getting a baseline audio, learning about your hearing, learning how to protect your hearing, learning about the signs of hearing changes, and how to manage proper conditions. We also, for a number of years, have been big fans of alternative technologies such as AirPods that have allowed people to hear better when they have hearing aids or not. There are a lot of cool features that you can do today with AirPods, and this is something that we routinely go over in our tune consultation. And the reality is there is a whole spectrum of hearing solutions for folks, and this is not just the black and white full-fledged prescription hearing aid or nothing. There are a lot of options in between from behavioral communication strategies to apps and hearables and AirPods to over-the-counter hearing aids, computer software, all the way up to prescription hearing aids. Audiologists can be this guiding light of really connecting those dots between the two of the education that's needed and the empowerment that's needed for people to use hearing technology effectively. I'm very excited to learn more and to get my hands on this and test it myself.